ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय So today we are reading from the Shrimad Bhagavatam, Canto 10, Chapter 2, entitled Prayers by the Demigods. And for this morning's discussion, we are reading text 9. Atam Amsa Bhagena Devakya Putratam Shubhe Prapshyami Tvam Yashodayam Nanda Patnyam Bhavishyasi Word for word translation Ataha Therefore Aham I Am Sabhagena by my plenary expansion. Devakyai of Devaki Putratam the Sun Shube O all auspicious Yoga Maya Prabhshami I shall become Tram you, you. Yashoda, in the womb of Mother Yashoda, womb of Mother Yashoda. Nanda, Nanda Patnyam, in the wife of Maharaj Nanda, Nanda. Bhavishyasi, shall also appear. appear. Purport and translation by His Divine Grace, Le A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami. Jagar Guru Sala Prabhupada Ki Jai. Translation. Okay, first word, okay, translation. Oh, all auspicious Yoga Maya, I shall then appear with my full six uplenses as the son of Devaki, and you will appear as the daughter of Mother Yashoda, the queen of Maharaj Nanda. Purport. The word Amsa Bhagina is important in this verse. In Bhagavad Gita 1042, the Lord says, Atava Bahuna Tena Kim Gyantena Tarvarajuna Vishtabhyaham Idam Krishnam Ekam Sena Stito Jagat. But what need is there, Ajun, for all this detailed knowledge? With a single fragment of myself, I pervade and support this entire universe. Everything is situated as part of the Supreme Lord's potency. In regard to Lord Krishna's appearance in the womb of Devaki, Brahma played a part also because on the bank of the milk ocean, he requested the Supreme Personality of God had to appear. A part was also played by Baladev, the first expansion of Godhead. Similarly, Yoga Maya, who appeared as the daughter of Mother Yashoda, also played a part. Thus, Jiva Tattva, Vishnu Tattva, and Shakti Tattva are all integrated with the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And when Krishna appears, he appears with all his integrated parts. As explained in previous verses, Yoga Maya was requested to track Shankrashan, Baladev, from the womb of Devaki to the womb of Rohini. And this was a very heavy task for her. Yoga Maya naturally could see how it was possible for her to attract Shankrashan. Therefore, Krishna addressed her as Shube, auspicious, and said, Be blessed, take power from me, and you will be able to do it. By the grace of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, anyone can do anything, for the Lord is present 
in everything, all things being his parts and parcels, amsa bhagena, and increasing or decreasing by his supreme will. Balaram was only 15 days older than Krishna. By the blessings of Krishna, Yogamaya became the daughter of Mother Yashoda. But by the supreme will, she was not able to enjoy the parental love of her father and mother. Krishna, however, although not actually born from the womb of Mother Yashoda, enjoyed the parental love of Mother Yashoda and Nanda. By the blessings of Krishna, Yoga Maya was able to achieve the reputation of being the daughter of Mother Yashoda, who also became famous by the blessings of Krishna. Yashoda means one who gives fame. Magyana Timaridasya, Gyanan Ganashlakaya, Chakshura Milita, Mirina Tasmai, Sri Gurave, Namaha, Sri Chaitanya Mano, Bistam, Stapitam, Yena Bhutale, Swayam Rupa, Kadama, Yam Dadati, Swapadanticum, Vande Hum, Sri Guru, Sri Yukta, Padakamalam, Sri Guru Mushnavam, Sha, Sri Rupam, Sagrajatam, Sahagana Ragunastam Bitam Tam Sajivam Sadvetam Savadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Sri Radha Krishna Padam Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakam Bitam Sya Namao Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutane Srimati Bhakti Tirta Swaminiti Namine Namaste Krishna Padaya Prabhupada Ashri Tatmane Shri Gaura Karuna Shakti Bhakti Tietari Tinamini Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutane Shri Mati Bhakti Vedanta Swamini Tinamini Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Pracharini Nirvese Sasuyavadi Pasachadi Satarini Vancha Kalpata Rubyascha Kripasa Nubhyayivacha Paritanam Pavani Bio Vaishnavi Bio Namo Namaha Namo Maha Vadanyaya Krishna Prima Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namini Kaura Trize Namaha Nityanandova to Tendur Vasuda Pranavala Baha Janavir Givita Patil Krishna Prima Prada Prabhu Padma Vatisuta Sramam Sacharananda Purvajaha Bhavomata Jagat Rakta Rakta Gora Kalevaraha Advaitam Harina Dvaita Racharyam Bhakti Samsanat Bhaktavataram Itam Sam Advaita Ahashraye Panchatatvamakam Krishnam Bhakta Rupa Swarupakam Bhaktavataram Bhaktakyam Namami Bhakti Shaktikam He Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandho Jagat Pate Gopesha Gopita Kanta Radha Kanta Namastate Jayatam Surato Pango Mama Mandir Gati Marsarvaswa Padam Bhujo Radha Mandana Mohano Divyad Vrindananya Kalpadrumada Shri Radhan Karasim Hastano Sri Sri Radha Sri La Govinda Devo Pristyali Bhisevya Mano Sri Mamrasa Rasaram Bivam Sivata Tata Stita Karasan Venus Vanai Gopi Gopinata Sri Ehe Sunaha Taptakan Chana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavani Shwari Vrishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Arvaita Gararhar Shri Vasadi Gaurabhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Taham Amsamagena Devakya Putranam Shive Prapshami Tram Yashodayam Nanda Patyam Bhavisha Si O all auspicious Yoga Maya, I shall then appear with my full six opulences as the son of Devaki, and you will appear as the daughter of Mother Yashoda the queen of Nanda 
Maharaj. Mukam Karoti Vachalam Pangum Lagaya Tegri, Yer Kripatamahan Bande, Shri Varudina Taranam, Paramanam Maravam, Sri Chaitanya Ishram. Akanda Mandala Kram, Yeptaina Characharam, Tapadam Dashitam Yena, Tasmai Sri Murale Maha. Hare Krishna. <coughs> so everyone is welcome to this morning class. And uh, <coughs> before we proceed to say anything, we first of all like to seek the blessings of all the wonderful devotees assembled here so that we can say something which will be purifying for our own lives and probably for the benefit of the audience. So here, <clears throat> um, Krishna is speaking to uh, Yoga Maya. Now all, 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 all auspicious Yoga Maya, I shall then appear with my full six opulences as a son of Devaki, and you will appear as a daughter of Maria Shoda, the queen of Marai Nanda. In the purpose, La Prabhupada makes mention of a number of important points. It says that Jiva Tattva, Vishnu Tattva, and Shakti Tattva are all integrated. And when the Lord appears in this material world, all these tatwas come along with him. So therefore we see that Lord Brahma played a role for the lost coming into the material world by leading the demigods to the milk ocean whereby they submitted their requests to Lord Vishnu. And so based on that, the Lord agreed to come. And then, Shri Prabhupada mentions that Baladev, who is a Vishnu Tattva, the first expansion of Krishna, also played a role. And how did he play the role? By preparing the ground for the appearance of the Lord. So first of all, Baladev appeared in the womb of Devaki to prepare the ground, to prepare the womb, to prepare all the necessary things for the appearance of the Lord. So he played a role. And now, Yoga Maya, who is Shakti of the Lord, is also going to play a role. She has to transfer Baladev from the womb of Devaki to the womb of Rohini. And for this tax, Yoga Maya is feeling it's a heavy, heavy task. Because Baladev is her Lord. Krishna and Balaram, and Balaram, there is no difference. So, Yoga Maya is the Shakti of Krishna. Similarly, she is also the Shakti of Balaram. So now that Yoga Maya is to transfer Baladev to the, from Devaki's womb to Rohini's womb. She considers this a very difficult task. But Krishna is saying, O oh, Subhe, all oh, auspicious one, you can take power from me. You can take the energy from me and you'll be able to do it. So, Shri Prabhupada writes that by the grace of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, anyone can do anything. For the Lord is present in everything, and all things being part and parcel 
Amsa Bagena and increasing or decreasing by his supreme will. So, the Lord is able to empower every living entity according to his will and according to the desire of the living entity. Similarly, the Lord empowers his shaktis to perform such wonderful services. And similarly, the Lord empowers his incarnations to execute different missions in the material world. So the Lord empowers everyone because ultimately, all energies are coming from him. Then Shri Prabhupada went on to say that although Krishna is actually not born from the womb of Yashoda, he enjoyed parental love of Mother Yashoda and Nanda Maharaj. And by the blessings of Krishna, Yoga Maya was able to achieve the reputation of being the daughter of Mother Yashoda. So, we can see the crucial role Yoga Maya plays in the pastimes of the Lord. Yoga Maya is described as Krishna Lila Poshanam Shakti. Krishna Lila Poshanam Shakti. She is the nourisher and support of Krishna's transcendental pastimes. And therefore, Krishna addresses her as Subhe, auspicious. Yoga Maya, she creates so much auspiciousness. All the wonderful pastimes in Viraj, Yoga Maya is behind. She is Chit Sakti. And she is sometimes referred to as Druga. Of course, we have two aspects of Druga the divine Druga in the spiritual world. And we have the shadow of Druga in the material world. The spiritual Druga assists Krishna in his pastimes in the spiritual world. While the shadow Druga engages the living entities, the conditioned souls in the material world. So, Yoga Maya plays such an important role in the pastimes of the Lord. We see that the pastimes involving the gopis, Yoga Maya played such a crucial role. <coughs> In fact, Shilajiva Goswami in the Krishna Sandarbha says, in order to facilitate the Lord's pastimes with his devotees, Yoga Maya manifests the gopis in two ways. By the agency of Yoga Maya, the gopis appeared in their original spiritual forms and associated with Krishna. In these original forms, Lord Krishna was their only husband. Then again, Yoga Maya manifested illusory representatives of the gopis in Gokul. These illusory forms became the wives of the various car In this way, 
when the gopis went to join Krishna in the Rasa dance, they went in their original spiritual forms, whereas the illusory forms manifested by Yoga Maya remained with the various Gopa husbands. In this way, in their original forms, the gopis obtained Krishna as their husband. Swarupe namam iva ramananam praptaha. So, even the spiritual relationships that Krishna has with the living entities, Yoga Maya plays a role. Because Yoga Maya nourishes the relationship between the Supreme Lord and the living entities. So Yoga Maya is such an important aspect of the Shaktis of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. It is even mentioned in the Gopal Champu that at a time Goddess Yoga Maya appeared in the womb of Yashoda. Actually, some Acharyas say that Krishna also took birth from the womb of Yashoda. Devaki, she brought forth Vasudev Krishna. And Yashoda, she brought forth Nanda, Nandana Krishna. So when Vasudev carried his son across the Yamuna to Gokul, that Vasudev Krishna merged into Nanda Nandana Krishna. It is said that Yoga Mayi or Yoga Maya, she facilitated all these activities. It is even mentioned that. Um, Whatever happens in the womb of Yashoda and whatever happens in the womb of Devaki, it's all the arrangement of Yoga Maya. Yoga Maya, normally for a child to be born, certain airs are developed in the womb. And these airs push the child out at a time of delivery. That is the scientific arrangement of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. How the child is born from the womb, even the scientists don't know. But certain heirs are arranged that at the time of delivery, these heirs, they force the child out of the womb of the mother. So it is said that that, that wind in the womb of Yashoda was Yoga Maya. She acted as a wind in the womb of Yashoda to bring out Krishna from the womb of Yashoda. So therefore I said that Yoga Maya makes impossible things possible. Anything that is impossible, Yoga Maya makes it possible. And we see all the wonderful pastimes in the Imbraj. Yoga Maya is behind. Punamasi is the expansion of Yoga Maya. Even Vrinda Devi also works in close relationship with Yoga Maya. Because their whole goal is to facilitate Krishna's pleasure. Shri Bhaktivinoda Thakur says in the Jaiva Dham that Yoga Maya tries to convince Yashoda that Krishna is their own child. 
born in her own maternity home. Yoga Maya convinces the gopis that they were married to Abhimanyu, Govardhan Gopa, and many other cowherd men. In this way, Yoga Maya nourishes the Parakya Ras. For Krishna to relish the Parakya Ras, you know, Krishna relates to the gop gopis in Parakya Ras, and then he relates to the queens of Dwaraka in Swakya Ras. Marriage, relationship, and in this relationship, friendship. So it is said that Yoga Maya, she enhances this Parakya Ras by make believe. In fact, it is said even the spiritual world, the gopis, they are not married. But Yoga Maya makes them feel that they are married wives. And because they have this feeling, this bar within themselves, that they are married wives, then they can relate to Krishna in Parakya Ras. So, Yoga Maya in a spiritual world makes the nectar of Krishna's pastimes by convincing the gopis that they are married to other residents of the spiritual world. And in this way, the paramo relationship between Krishna and the gopis is enhanced. We even see that the gopis in Braj, they approach Katyayani. Katyayani is considered an expansion of Durga, which is the external manifestation, the material manifestation of Yoga Maya. They approach Katyayani and they pray to Katyayani to facilitate their marriage with Krishna. So we can see that Yoga Maya facilitated the gopis' relationship with Krishna. Therefore, Shlabhakti Vinotakur in his Sri Krishna Samhita says, Sri Krishna Venu Gitena Vyakulastat Samachayam Yoga Maya Mahadevim Krishna Labechaya Vraje. Being bewildered by the flute, by the sound of the flute of Krishna, the gopis of Raj, they worship Yoga Maya with a desire to attain Krishna as their husband. So, Yoga Maya is the nourisher, the supporter of all the wonderful pastimes of Krishna. Even the, the false marriage of Abhimanyu Tararani is arranged by Yoga Maya. Even the attitude of Jatila, Kutila, is all arranged by Yoga Maya. So therefore, Shlabhakti Vinotakura says that we should pray to Durga, Katyayani, to facilitate our spiritual elevation. 
because yoga maya is facilitating these relationships with Krishna, a devotee should pray to her for elevation in Krishna consciousness. Because she has the ability, she is empowered by Krishna to facilitate all these relationships. So that is uh, what I want to share about Yoga Maya in this verse. That she is, she is, she plays such a crucial role. She facilitates the laws coming into the material world. She facilitates the the womb of Devaki. She facilitates the womb of, of Yashoda. She facilitates the appearance of the Lord. And she got involved in all the different pastimes of the Lord and nourished all the relationships that happened both here in Gokul and in the spiritual world. And therefore, she plays such an important role. And it is appropriate that devotees approach Yoga Maya and pray for her mercy so that we can also become uh, elevated in our Krishna consciousness. Hare Krishna.